you kung fu hot dog. You're a toxic man, baby. You hate everything we like. You make me want to cry. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So hey ho, I thought I'd do a quick follow up video to the terminal list which I talked about today. Um, I might release this video today or tomorrow morning depending on what time you see but RIP James Khan, as you can see in the Yahoo news headline below me, um, the actor passed away at the age of 82. Really really sucky year for famous people that I like to have just passed away. It's not fair in life is it? So speaking of being not fair, let's just talk about this crazy article I saw on Yahoo news. I've seen this uh, story being talked about, so um, Chris Pratt's The Terminal List is an unhinged right-wing revenge fantasy, okay? So The Terminal List features Chris Pratt going vengefully homicidal due, in part, to a serious medical condition in Amazon's latest and greatest, uh, which follows in the tradition of Jack Ryan and Jack Reacher by delivering gung-ho macho action drama tailor-made for 40-something Call of Duty players. Now that's already a weird assumption to make because a lot of Call of Duty players are teenagers as well. So why are we not addressing those folks? And some of them will be girl gamers too amongst that crowd. Why are we not saying that this is tailor-made for them? That's just a really weird thing. Not many 40-somethings I know have time to play Call of Duty, let alone myself. Still, if this adaptation of Jack Carr's novel mostly fits itself into a particular dad entertainment streaming niche, it's also to a large extent comes off as a wet dream for militia-minded anti-establishment kooks replete with a Pratt performance as a Navy SEAL who responds to injustice by murdering the guilty with extreme prejudice. I think what's very guilty about this article here is how they just use a specific narrative just to spin a certain ideological point of view for their article to get clicks. It's just ridiculous. If they sat down and watched all eight episodes of the Terminal List, you'll know that there's a reason why the character of James Reese goes on a revenge mission. It's all justified from the point of view of that character. And I guess, you know, Keanu Reeves going after the man that murdered his dog is also not really justifiable, is it? Now, I do hear all this stupid talk about uh, how certain movies uh, are, are right wing, they have that ideology, but yet the public have gone to see them. I remember this with Dirty Harry in 1971. When that film came out, oh, all the movie critics were just um, just on that film like 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 a flight of shit. Like Pauline Kael, she's one of the most vocal cinema critics of the 70s and maybe the mid 80s. Um, she called the film a right wing propaganda movie, and, and I'm just paraphrasing what she said there. And there was a chorus of the same approval from other critics as well around that. Then it stopped the film from being a hit. It was a great hit for Don Siegel and Clint Eastwood, and it spawned other. Uh, sequels in the franchise but obviously that first film because if you haven't seen it Harry Callahan played by Eastwood is pursuing a serial killer in San Francisco who they've kind of modeled on the Zodiac killer at the time and you know, you know if you watch it now you probably wouldn't agree with the stance of uh, what the character or the politics align to for me it's just an entertaining action movie that took the cop genre and spun it on his head and this gave us something a little bit free refreshing and new now take this for example homeland which i bought uh, pre-owned from cex uh, sandwiched in the middle of these two guys soul and obviously quinn at the end played by the always badass rupert friend uh, who for me was actually the savior of the show not damian lewis even though damian lewis is a terrific actor but claire danes as the insufferable character that she plays in this series 
didn't stop me from watching the show because it is a great show. And again, people call this a right-wing propaganda show. 24 with Kiefer Sutherland because it was made by the Fox Network. That too was accused of being a right-wing show. The nonsense will never stop. But the reason why I talk about this, and before I get onto the main point of this article, I mentioned in my previous video about Antoine Fuqua, um, who is a very prolific film director in Hollywood. Now, of course, I mentioned the fact that he directed to an episode of the terminal list he's also the executive producer for the whole series now if you want to continue with your stupid narrative that this is an unhinged right-wing revenge fantasy catered for 40 something old dads or men that like to play call of duty and why would you play that now with the direction that series of games is going in then why don't we perhaps call the equalizer to an alt right wing piece of entertainment also because antoine fuqua has also directed this movie or did direct this movie back in the day antoine fuqua is african-american will anybody go after him from the mainstream media implying the fact that he's also supporting or maybe doesn't support the right wing angle in these films of course they won't because mainstream media knows who they want to target and who they want to make a mockery of but i tell you who is having the last laugh today it is chris pratt himself on his instagram post the terminal list is the number one television series on prime video Give the man and everybody else involved in this show a big round of applause. Well, that's two years in a row that the 4th of July belongs to Amazon Prime Video. Notice how he said, not to me, but to Amazon Prime. Last year, it was the Tomorrow War, which I was rough on, but I'm going to go and watch it again this weekend. This year, it's the Terminal List. I'm so grateful for my relationship with Jennifer Salke and everyone at Amazon. Jennifer Salke is an interesting individual because I'm pretty sure she was the same person who actually put the reins on the proposed live action Conan show coming to Amazon um, in favor of uh, Wheel of Time. And of course, we know how that one worked out. Thank you for letting us make the show we wanted to make. Thanks to all who helped us get there. If you haven't seen Terminal List yet, check it out. And Chris, don't worry, I will check it out again, mate, because like I said, it's a really heavy going drama in places, but terrific action. Uh, Pratt just owns the screen when he's on there. If you liked cute and cuddly Chris Pratt from Guardians of the Galaxy as Peter Star-Lord, well, you'll be in for a big surprise when you see him as Lieutenant Commander James Reese. It's the same thing that I equate to Hugh Jackman in Prisoners. Yeah, you saw him in as Wolverine, but when you see him in Prisoners, yep, that's a totally different beast. And it's great to see actors who are not afraid to embrace a challenging new role. And so what if this particular type of entertainment might not tick your boxes because you want an acceptable form of entertainment in mainstream media today nobody wants it that's why things like lightyear have crashed and burned everything marvel and disney have done so far obi-wan all the pre all this latest uh, installment of the mcu phase four they're all crashing and burning nobody wants to watch that even the boys has fallen for the trap of being woke in its third season it's absolutely terrible so chris pratt may not go in a public forum and say i don't like this particular type of entertainment now but you know when he does something like this and when he's so invested in a project like the terminal list you've got to ask yourself the question not do i feel lucky but i can't wait for the second season of the terminal list and how far that will go to drive the mainstream media absolutely round the bend. And they deserve what's coming to them because they're a bunch of idiots and it's people like me. And yes, I'm a small time YouTuber, but there are other people in my same niche who are doing better and bigger things more than I am, who've obviously got a bigger fan base, who are just getting that message out there day after day, week after week. And you know what, folks? With someone like Jennifer Salke at uh, Amazon, who approved this and is getting Amazon the viewing figures, maybe, just maybe, that tide is slowly turning and maybe one day we might trust people like Amazon 
to just give us good old fashioned entertainment with today's sensibilities without shoving everything ideological down your throat. Now, if you enjoyed this video today, folks, and I've got hay fever eyes at the moment, hence the sunglasses, plus I'm in my zero dark 30 mode. Please leave a like below. Please smash that subscribe button. And if I were you, and if you were me, do check out the next video. In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Duke Nukem approves this guy.